Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will see light dependent registers. As you can see at the leftmost, we have a tiny sensor, a very affordable sensor which based on intensity of light changes its register. So if light intensity is more, it excites more electrons hence the resistance is less and vice versa. So what we will do is we will we will monitor the intensity of light because it's an analog device it gives out uh, voltage uh, we will see shortly and the voltage can be measured from analog input so this is similar to our potentiometer experiment the difference is instead of potentiometer we have here two registers one is fixed and other is uh, variable depending upon the light intensity of light so we will we will look for a threshold point in our serial monitor uh, for this light intensity and then we will based on the reading we will either turn on or turn off the led so uh, this ldrs have uh, many applications maybe in uh, evening uh, light in your lawn uh, morning auto detection of street lights maybe uh, in robotics and many many uh, other applications but you should not uh, take these sensors for the real light intensity measurement for industrial purposes because these are not meant for those so if you are looking for some serious lux uh, calculation lux measurement you should switch to professional devices which you can find online or discuss on forums so enough of the introduction so let's get into the circuit the circuit I have already constructed the same circuit you can see here we have our LDR right here so this is our LDR with the wires are connected in a uh, voltage divider manner so if, if we, let's come back to a circuit first okay so let me clear this red dot you can see here we have a voltage divider circuit and why we need it the reason is if you if you don't connect this register suppose I don't connect this register you won't be getting analog input voltage based on the change of resistance the reason is very simple so let me clear it so suppose if you don't have this connection that means the red wire and you simply so it's you simply use ground and A0 or VCC uh, or 5 volts and connected to A0 so wh whatever change in the uh, resistance in LDR the voltage there will be no voltage drop across it because there is only one component and that one component doesn't consumes uh, voltage to be identified I think I'm making sense but uh, okay let me show you another illustration fine so suppose we have a register here and let's let's forget about this register for now suppose we have a single register and you measure voltage from 5 volts and 0 volt so no more no no matter how this register value the second register value changes you always get 5 volts across it because this 5 volt is getting from the supply and this ground is ground always so even if this is an LDR suppose this, if even this is an LDR it doesn't make much of difference because you are measuring from the extreme ends so only way to find out uh, voltage across the second register which is R2 is to having uh, another register fixed register and then measuring voltage across it so let me show you how it works okay so this R1 and R2 suppose this R2 is our LDR so let me uh, make it L or just make it a point so this is our LDR so, and uh, with uh, Kirchhoff's law we know that V in this complete voltage is V1 plus V2 so suppose V1 is the voltage drop across uh, R1 and V2 is voltage drop across R2 
so we can say v1 plus v2 and we know v1 equals to i into r1 plus i into r2 i is the common current flowing through these two resistors and remember r2 is ldr so the value of r2 changes depending upon the intensity of light so we can again write v in equals to i r1 plus r2 and i becomes v in divided by r1 plus r2 so this value of i we can substitute here for because we want to know what is the voltage difference at v out this point so let me use a separate color so what is the voltage drop at this point so this point with respect to ground of course whenever we measure voltage we measure with respect to ground mostly and here we want to know what is the potential difference at this point from here to here so this will be the potential difference will be v2 because v2 is i into r2 so we know v2 i into r2 so what is v2 then v2 is v out which is in our case this is v in into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 we are just substituting this i here and i into r2 i is v in divided by r1 plus r2 so the equation is very simple and now if you uh, okay so let's take a use case uh, suppose the r1 value is 1 kilo ohm and r2 value is 1 kilo ohm so what will be the value at what will be the voltage value at v out very simple you can simply uh, know the v in is 5 volts 5 into r2 is 1k r1 plus r2 is 2k that is 1 by 2 and v in that is half of 1 by 2 uh, half of 5 is 2.5 so if both the registers are same equal you get half voltage here that is half of total voltage v in similarly you can calculate suppose it's a ratio suppose r1 is 2 kilo ohm and r2 is 1 kilo ohm in that case you will get the same proportion so this will be around uh, 3. Point, uh, I guess 4 volts and this will be around 1.7 volts 2 is to 1 okay suppose this r1 is 3 kilo ohm and r2 is 2 kilo ohm so this will have a 2 volt r2 will have a 2 volt voltage drop and r1 will have 3 volts of voltage drop so this way even this r2 changes with according to intensity of light the r1 is constant so you can measure a voltage at this point but if you don't have r1 at all and only r2 is changing you can you cannot change uh, you cannot measure any voltage across this r2 so that's the whole story i hope you understood if not let's discuss on forums okay coming back to our circuit and this is the very minimal circuit and that's it let's get into programming So here we are we have connected the same circuit here a hundred ohm register to LED and the pin is connected to pin number two and one kilo ohm register uh, with LDR in the same voltage divider method like this okay so let's get into programming I know most of you have already figured out what we have to do we have to first write pin mode which pin we are using we are using for LDR we are using A0 so pin mode A0 as input now pin mode for LED we are using pin number 2 and let's say pin number 2 as output and of course we are need we want to debug or we want to learn few things so let's watch it on serial dot serial console 9600 baud rate that's it loop is also very minimal so let's read the value of analog voltage which we are getting from this voltage divider so how do we read let's say int ldr equals to analog read a reading a0 pin and let's let print serial dot println LDR we want to see 
what is the digital equivalent of that analog number uh, I'm sorry analog voltage which we are receiving from um, LDR so let me run this first because based on this value so we have to decide a threshold point where we want to turn on the LED so let me upload the program control U to upload ask me to save ok save done now let's get into serial monitor and here we go so we are getting okay so let me put some uh, because it's very difficult to read it's very fast what is the solution add some delay 200 millisecond of delay control u upload and now I guess yes it's better so we are getting around 640, 650 out of 1024. So because it's a 10 bit ADC, you know we are getting 645, 644. So this is approximately more than uh, 2.5 volts of analog voltage. So let me uh, shadow this using my hand. Let me cover it with my hand. And you can see the resistance increases, so do the voltage, right? Again, I withdraw and it's back to 640. So now we know there is a threshold point, uh, 640 and 650. So what we will do is, when there is a shadow, means when there is a dark, you have uh, the LED should glow. So I will simply do... Uh, if the value of LDR greater than say 650 okay uh, digital write to high that's it okay so this will turn it on but it will remain on forever but we don't want that as soon as the value is less than uh, 650 we want it to off again so else digital right to comma low okay so let me upload it here's my serial monitor and there's my LED and LDR so 6 50 651 so the moment it touches 651 it automatically glows so let me turn off my uh, lamp so you can see some shadows or oh, no so now the values goes to 900 because it's dark there is no light there are no electrons so there is uh, very high resistance and with high resistance high voltage drop so around 900 so if I if I touch the LDR I hope I will attain the maximum maximum is 1024 and it's not that accurate it is giving up to fine it gave up to 1014 that is good enough so let me turn on the light again yes so 640 650 it's off because it's 640 let me put my hand back and it glows fine so this works so i hope you understood this program and this application if not we can discuss further i hope you also understood this voltage divider this is kind of important this is the same principle of potentiometer which we have seen earlier the equation is very simple so with one LDR you cannot get any voltage drop across it that's very obvious you need a voltage drop reference because of this R1 register you get some voltage drop across R2 which we measure and give it to analog input so that's all for this session hope you enjoyed it see you in next session